Hello everyone, this is Krota giving you another look behind the numbers of StarCraft II. In this look behind the numbers, we're going to be focusing on minerals and mineral collection rates. So I believe this spreadsheet is pretty straightforward. You guys can go ahead and just pause it on the spreadsheet and take a look at the numbers. But essentially, all the numbers on the left over here are the constants that are, are the constant that you you know you can trust try to look for and try to figure out and we'll take a look at these numbers and figure out what these numbers really mean now if you take a if you have it here if you have an a, a mineral patch that has eight mineral patch or you have a mineral patch that has eight minerals there and your harvester count is eight you will be averaging about 340 minerals every game minute now it's not every 60 seconds it's every game minute Mm, you'll have to take a look at different numbers in the different spreadsheets on on how a game second is different than a real second. But in one game minute, you will be you will have harvested about 340 minerals in roughly. What that means is that each of your workers will be re returning about 42.5 minerals per game minute, and calculating out to about 8.5 trips per game minute, depending on how close or how far away your in particular command center nexus or hatchery is away from those minerals. What I'm going to call this is I'm going to use this as my baseline or my control on what is 100% efficiency. These SCVs or those drones, these probes are not tangling up on each other. They're not, you know, looking for another mineral, another mineral patch. They're not waiting for another probe drone SCV to finish mining before they start mining again. Now, taking a look at the second row, what you're going to see here is you're going to have the same eight S, or same eight mineral patches, but now you're going to double your harvester count. Now, normally you would think, oh, you have double the harvesters, you should get double the minerals. That is not the case. What you're going to notice is you're going to see a really, really small drop off in terms of, of in terms of your mineral count. Instead of going up to 680 like you'd normally think you would, you're going down to six. You're going up to 640. The reasoning behind this is because as you add additional SCVs, probes, and um, probes, drones to those mineral patches, there's going to be a slight and small waiting time for that one worker in order be in order for in order for to continue mining once again. And also, you may have a little bit of a double lap where one SCV starts looking for another mineral patch and will start walking in inside that mineral patch looking for a free one. The calculations end up showing that you will end up having 40 harvesters or 40 minerals per harvester with an average trip of eight per minute. What I call this, this is about a 94 94% efficiency compared to that base control group that we are, we were taking a look at here. Now, Blizzard says in order to reach full saturation, you need approximately three workers per mineral patch. What you're going to notice is this is the three workers per, per mineral, mineral patch here. 24 harvesters for eight mineral patches and you're only going to be harvesting about 800 minerals that's only an increase of about 160 really really far off than the 300 increase from these two locations or the 340 that you originally started off and that also means that your that your resources per harvester is now dropping down to 33.3 and, you know, repeating, that means that that is about, I believe, almost a 20%, like a, probably about a 15% drop off from the previous um, resources per harvester. And your harvesters will only be able to return about six and two thirds, your harvesters, yeah, about seven trips per game minute as they're constantly wandering around. So this is one of the reasons why trying to play off of one base is so very difficult because the more SCVs, the more drones, the more workers that you try to put into that mineral patch, you may not be getting the same amount of resources coming out of there. You often hear me say that the, the Zerg player is going to get a stronger economic advantage even though he has less harvesters because he's mining from 16 mineral patches, he's able to keep up economically speaking. Now this is really shown in the final line here. If you take a look, this is doubling the mineral patch, assuming that that your opponent or you have your natural expansion but you did not train any additional SCVs, drones, worker probes you just split them up between your main base and your natural expansion what you're going to see is that you are now harvesting about a thousand minerals every game minute and you're going to see this number now jump back up to about 42 resources per harvester with an efficiency of 98 percent 
So what does this mean number wise, number crunching wise? It means that about after two, two gay minutes, you will have paid for your natural expansion, assuming that you do not train any additional workers. Most likely though, when you train, when you set up that additional, or when you set up that natural expansion, you will be able to continue to train up more SCVs, more drones, more probes, and be able to saturate a new group of 16 or a new group of eight mineral patches. So after about, and my best guesstimation would probably be around 90 seconds. After 90 seconds, and your income is now adjusted so that it is as high or higher than if you did not establish that expansion. So this is part of the balance on when you want to expand. You want to expand most likely right when you reach around 24 harvesters in your main base. You want your expansion completed because at that point, you do not end up stopping your SCV probe or drone production. You're able to con and con continually get maximum resources out of your harvesters by taking another base. And um, after a very short amount of time, maybe 90 game seconds, your, uh, the expansion will have paid for itself. And then you, and, and as long as you have proper defense at that location, you can then macro up a large enough army and then push out into your opponent. So this is definitely important for macro play. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, look behind the numbers for minerals. And yeah, let me know if you have any other ideas out there for a look behind the numbers here. And I've been considering trying to show why a Phoenix actually wins in a 1v1 fight against a Viking, but I'm sure a short video can do that anyways. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.